back on the Sports Max Zone and updating the CONCACAF Gold Cup match between Jamaica and Guadalupe. Guadalupe an early strike leading Jamaica by one goal to nil. Seven minutes gone in the fixture. Now, there are just seven days to go before the start of the Games of the 32nd Olympiad and organizers confirmed earlier this week that athletes will not be able to bring their families to Tokyo. The two-time Olympian and defending 1,500-meter champion Matthew Chentrovich, Chentrovitz had his uh, this reaction to the news. Here's what he said. The American, seeing my family in the crowd and hearing them uh, gave me a little sense of comfort and what I needed to hear and see to calm my nerves a little bit. So those are his views. Now defending all-round champion gymnast Simone Biles also chimed in with her views that the family of the athletes won't be able to uh, be a part of the Olympic Games. She said, I like to feed off the crowd so I'm a little bit worried about how I'll do under those circumstances, the outstanding American gymnast has said. Now no spectators, local or overseas, will be allowed at the vast majority of the venues where athletes will hang medals around their own necks to protect against spreading the coronavirus. Handshakes and hugs on the podium are also prohibited. So George and Mariah, we're going to see an Olympic Games here, uh, the likes of which we have never seen in our lifetime. But you know, I get the feeling that when the competition starts, um, the adrenaline and the excitement of competition will put a lot of these negative issues on the back burner. Definitely. And I find it a bit surprising that, you know, the athletes expect it differently because I feel like um, people are forgetting that we still are in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic and safety is first. Remember, this is being held in Japan. And, you know, we have talked on this show for a long amount of time um, about the number of cases, the slow vaccination process, and all these different things. So to me, um, not the families not being allowed didn't come to me as a surprise whatsoever. I also understand the view of the athletes that, you know, we love the crowd, we love adrenaline rush. You know, just seeing your family is very comforting. But we also have to understand that just the main, the main point, we're still in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic. Mm. I, I'd like to see the Simone Biles quote again, to, 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 because I, I'm wondering if I missed something. So, Mr. Producer, may it please you to... So, she says, I like to feed off of the crowd, so I'm a little bit worried about how I'll do under those circumstances. Right, Simone, so I don't know how big your family is, and if your family alone would give you a sense of crowd, but, yeah, I... I, I I think she just said something because she was like, ah. Well, maybe this particular comment isn't directed at the actual yeah, family. I think oh. there will be no spectators. Because you can yeah. see why I'm trying to. Yeah, to, to, yeah to, to, I think, to, yeah. I think she was uh, talking about she loves having people. And in fact, that no, yeah. Yeah, no. The statement against the, the, the point we're discussing. Right. So I'm saying, so, so no crowd, uh, no family. No family. Yeah. No family, no issue. When the heat of competition starts, yeah. as, 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 as you're saying, you're yeah. both saying, Nobody will, will, will miss the fact that, you know what, yeah. my grandmother isn't in the stands to watch me. She'll be watching you on TV. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 look, the Olympics are going to be very, very, very nice. And I'm, I'm, I'm usually loath to talk about, oh, this is exciting. and like, No. Trust me, the Olympics, exciting. especially when track and field starts, you're not going to miss the fact that it is being held under COVID protocols and it's in a different time. Mm -hmm. Athletes are giving, they're putting on medals around their own neck, which is what they should be doing anyway. I mean, uh, giving some frumpy officials a chance to come out in suits and, and shake. Uh, yeah, cut out well, it's all part of it, George. You know, people like to be awarded well, stuff. Well, well, guess what? If it's a part of it, Mariah, what is your most memorable occasion watching the Olympics when some official has come out giving somebody a medal? No, not for me. It's ah. not for no. But what I'm saying mm. is for the athlete, you know. Well, I, I'd like to ask both myself. So, so when you were getting the medal from from the guy in 2000, who did you get it from? I'm sure you won't remember. Point I'm making is they're there to win and get their medals. They don't care who's giving them the medals. So I'm sure they'll have a bit of fun. And I'm sorry, both isn't around for this. Yeah. I'm I'd be interested to see what he does when putting on his own. Medal. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, but one of the things some of some of the people giving out medals, George, are are iconic people. I, exactly. I can see you saying both being someone who. Would would give a medal out and I would suggest that someone would remember that you said most of the exactly. people who give out medals aren't icons though no mm. but why would they just give random people to give out they because, are some because, iconic people because some and, 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 and you are right Lance is right some but in on the whole mm. they make up the minorities usually somebody some usually old white man in a suit 
who comes out and he's an IOC official, and, and yes. right? Who gets and, and uh, different uh, IOC presidents of the different national associations? Exactly, which Three is a so, big deal if you're part no, of the Olympics. Big deals. No, they are a big deal. Those guys are. A big deal. Yeah, but, okay, but, well, but, but some of them, some of them, George and Mara, are past athletes and outstanding athletes. I agree. For with instance, you the that. IOC president is a former athlete. Was he an outstanding athlete? Well, yes, because yes, yes, he's a gold medalist, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so, so he's an outstanding athlete yes. from, in terms of what he won. But is he an outstanding athlete in the grand scheme of things? No. Let me just say was. something. Thomas Bach, an outstanding it's... athlete? Let me ask you a question then, Mr. Yeah. Olympics. So, yeah. so you're saying then, for, for yeah. Thomas Bach to be an outstanding athlete, an you're outstanding saying... For, for Germany. Hold on a man. So you're for saying his that, country. So yeah. you're saying that if I went into a, a yeah. random place yeah. in Austria, right next door to Germany, mm -hmm. and I said, the, the great Olympic athletes of all time, and I said, Thomas Bach, people would immediately recognize who he was and what he did in fencing in, in, and all that. Is in, that what you're saying? In Germany. In you Austria. Know, you know, when, you, when you're, when, I when, said when, in Austria. When, yeah, okay, well, no. What, right, I, thank what, you. What, but what there I thought you were know, I was thinking initially when you were going down that line, I was thinking of Sebastian Coe. Who, but he, his, he, who is the he, IAAF he, He's president. transcendental, though. So yeah. He was normal. So I'm saying, yeah. and that's the point I was going to make, that yeah, Sebastian People Cole, like Sebastian Cole give medals out. Thomas give medals Mark. out. He yeah, but, should give a medal out. Yeah, but he does. But and both do. should give a medal they out. Do. Yeah, those people give medals but out. Lance, or, that's the point I'm making. 93% of those mm. who give medals, they could stay. No, you would but, agree, but Mr. George, Olympics. it's yeah. part of the tradition. No, but I'm saying it's a part of the tradition that we won't miss. If it's gone. That we won't yeah. miss, that we the won't athletes miss will miss. No, like, nobody will see. So oh you want to just, okay, Mariah, I won. Mariah, the man, <laughs> when, when, <laughs> when, when, when Jamaica runs one, two, three in the women's 100 meters, yeah? yeah? Whichever order it comes in, Shelly, Elaine, Sharika, or otherwise, mm. scramble it. Mm. And they're there on the podium and the anthem is going to be played and everything. Do you think they're saying, oh my God, I hope someone famous comes out to give me my medal? No, George, we're not saying that, no. but and that all no. that antics that you're giving us no. here live, no. uh, we're not saying that, but I'm just saying that it would be nice to be presented. It's all part of the presentation process. You know what? Veronica Campbell Brown famously cried at the 2004 Olympics, Mr. Olympics. Yes, Athens, yes. yeah. Yeah, with, the, with, the, with the, the laurel wreath around her head and everything. I am certain Mrs. Campbell Brown does not remember who gave her the medal to put her on. And what I'm saying bet on is, that, you I'd are. Bet on it. Does. I'd bet on she it. Does. I'd Those bet on moments it. moments are big moments. She remembers crying. She remembers the emotion she felt. She remembers how proud she was of her country and herself. <laughs> she does not remember who gave her. Lance, hold on. When you, when you graduated from high school, who gave you your certificate when you were leaving graduation? I didn't, I didn't go to the graduation. You didn't go to the graduation. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure you said. I, I've been to two graduations. <laughs> I've I, and I've collected. I, I don't remember that. Well, I, I remember, know. and my memory is good. Wait, 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 wait. My wait, principal. You just left high school. Me. That's yeah. not true. I just look young. We have to go to break and, though. Yeah, and so. Mariah's team has equalized though. The Jamaica Reggae Boys have gotten a goal. I got the Corey team. Burke, I love so it. It's now it's now one one. One one. Mm. Well, my team is not going to let me down. And yeah. on that note, we have to go to the, the Reggae break. Boys would have won the Gold Cup had Mariah not picked them. All right. Now, as we go to the break. As we, we go to the break. <laughs> go ahead, Lance. Sorry. Yes, we we <laughs> we leave you with today's Olympic corner, featuring and starring St. Lucia's three-time, now 37 years old. The Olympian high jumper, Laverne Spencer. For 20 years, Laverne Spencer has been the backbone of St. Lucian Athletics. A three-time Olympian, Spencer's most memorable Olympic moment came at the Rio 2016 Games when she reached the women's high jump final. Real 2016 was was a great experience. Um, you know, making the finals meant a lot to me. It was the first first time and first solution ever to make the finals, and you know, placing sixth at the Olympics I think was an achievement in itself. Uh, no one has ever gotten this close coming from a small country and being the only Caribbean high jumper in the field. So I, I think I did a good job. The one, if nothing else, has been consistent. I mean, and I'm not just talking about the Olympic Games. She has won gold medals more, uh, twice for the Pan American Games. She has won a gold medal for the, for the Commonwealth Games. She's won multiple golds for the CAC Games. Uh, and she has won lots of medals at uh, different other meets that she's attended. So that consistency shows that on any given day, um, you know, if she can get a, a decent height, a chance of, of getting on the podium would be good. If I make it to Tokyo, 
that would definitely be my last Olympic. Um, and the goal is, first of all, to make the finals, and then when I get into finals, definitely try to get on the podium. To get to the podium would be the realization of a lifelong dream, but even if she doesn't, there will remain no doubt that Laverne Spencer is the best from St. Lucia.